we are talking of human aspect of architecture in a sense. The whole thing of self-help or affordable, etc., etc. The, the introduction is very general. The introduction to Gavandi, that's a common direction for everybody. Very general, the map and everything. Then anything more specific, relevant to your project, you put in your own project. You can, it's not, you should also be, if you want to talk about this story in your project, talk about this story, no problem. You know, is, as long as it's directly relevant to your project, these techniques that you have, I mean, some of them you already figured from here, right? Yeah. You're connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, maybe here it would be good if you if you also spend some a little bit more time in, in really explaining each of them. The technique, the four diagram is what we have shown. In that case, uh, there are different uh, different types of houses like uh, the ones which are ha hatched are the one so the fourth one the last one is uh, where when the construction uh, the co contractor have to build a house at the center and on the both the side there are uh, houses d plus one already built so what he does is, is like he just builds uh, the structural part of it uh, column beam and thing and the wall which is uh, there he shares it with the like uh, the neighbors so what he does is he gives some money to the neighbors four thousand five thousand and then the other side he reduces the amount and the quantity of break the labor so ultimately he's increasing his profit and reducing the money given the timeline of the construction starting from day one starting from the demolition itself and then how it will uh, go will provide some drawings uh, with every stage trying to show the timeline this is the timeline this is the negative part the demolition time that the contractor okay. takes and this is the time taken for each things and we're going to show process by process look at the overall format talk to the other guys what are they doing within your thing there should be a trend and within the eight panels there should be something in terms of how you represent you can do sketches like this really good but you can also, you know, put some pictures. You can put both. Mm -hmm. So it becomes very dynamic and engaging, and you can go from one to the other. And within that space, you can show a high level of complexity, and you know, you can go very deeply into the process. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, what, what, one thing we're also doing throughout this whole program is that we're redefining a few things, and we, we're creating a new terminology. We're starting to describe something which was previously undescribed. If we could just have a little more on how the how the street. The street work, the section between the streets, how the houses actually sit so close to each other. This put people into some sort of actual uh, immediate actual physical kind context. Of a schematic yeah. section, <laughs> what we can a schematic do. section, and uh, just how how an actual street work. Because all these all the construction techniques actually emerge out of a certain tightness of <laughs> tightness of context. So you need to just orient people into that into that context. Just to recap, you're talking of location, you're talking of site, you're talking of plot, you're talking of how housing, timeline. What about the others? Techn technology or techniques, materials, construction, contractor, rates. <laughs> Next photo, we will see the first thing in the next photo. On the second floor, we did a small interior walk to the ground. 